don't be a punk. Don't be a wuss. Growing up, as many of us did in the inner city or even rural areas, and we had to really stand up for ourselves. And it was not whether or not um, you could could uh, beat someone. It was whether or not you could defend yourself. And we, um, brothers, s sisters, were faced with so many situations that will make us fear, will make us worry. But the Bible says in, in uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 7, that God didn't give us that spirit of fear. And that spirit of fear is not necessarily we're fighting interpersonally. And in fact, we, we got to stop fighting each other so much. But it's just internal. It's with the individual. Because many of us might have um, aggression, power for the, the other person. But when it comes to certain powers, we don't have it. The man, uh, um, whatever it, it may be in your life. I've seen great brothers who were, who, who were, who were tough you know, on, on the streets. But in other situations, they were like babies. I'm saying to you, don't be afraid of, of anything. And our fears necessarily has to be an authority. It could be just starting our day. It, it could be something we have to do. It, it could be just anything, getting on with our lives because we're, we're, we're trapped. And we have so many things to do. And the thing we got to have is a spirit of boldness. And I don't want anyone to, to fear. You see, the same skills you have now or that you we, that we, we've used interpersonally are beautiful, wonderful skills. And I always say those who were, who were dealers or hustlers, um, if they ever had that drive and that determination and that risk-taking ability towards business, it'll be a different world. And I want you to use those skills, those same skills. I want you to use those manly skills, women, those bold skills you use, those organizational skills you use, women, you know, running a household on your own. Uh, I'm a single dad and, and I, I bow to you respect because I'm about to lose my mind. And, and I say to you that you've got this. I say to you, you can do this. I say to you, don't fear anything. And we might fear even getting up in the morning. We might fear the morning sun. We might even fear the night. We might fear an interview. We might fear a meeting. We might fear a court process. We may fear going to a doctor. We may fear because we don't think it can happen. But I'm telling you, whether or not it's going to happen, whether or not you're going to win, whether or not you're going to lose, is not your concern. You've got to trust God. What is your concern is that Brothers, sisters, you man up. You get out there, you do your thing. We all know growing up that 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 it, it was not whether or not you won or whether or not you would fight. And I'm saying to you, have that same survivalist mindset you have in anything else, and you will be successful. Don't be afraid. You, you can do this. It doesn't matter if you can't read, you, you, whatever it is, go for it. Run for it. Um, apply for it. Um, just take those steps. You have nothing to fear. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of love and of power, power and of a sound mind. I say this also because internationally there's great change what's happened in, in Nigeria and other places. And many many would say that it, it's, it's a fool's errand or those who are in charge are, are, are corruptible. Let it be what it is. But in the same way that other people might say that, there is a certain adjustment. And, and, and like, how should I say? An example, years ago when I was much younger, there were so many laws passed in terms of male child support because we know why male child support was an issue. But the offshoot of that was that many men began to step up and be great fathers. There is not right now in family courts. You see many young fathers stepping up and taking the, the, the lead. So these were people who they thought were shiftless, um, irresponsible. But when push came to shove, you saw what they are. So that's why I say you have to fight. That's why I say you have to get up and stand up because those same skills you have, you can do this thing. You can do anything you want to do. I've been um, in many different arenas. And the people in the upper echelons, lower echelons, they're not very different. They, they've had more opportunity, but there's something about the struggle that gives you something that nobody else has because you can make it. You can make it with a little, and that is your skill. Making it with a little, make it with a little. Do this thing, don't be afraid. Um, they're gonna tell you you've got a criminal record. 
They're gonna tell you that you're, you, you've you been drug addicted. They're gonna tell you, you got you got five baby daddies. They're gonna tell you all sorts of things because you, you, you threaten them. If you, with everything against you, can step up and outskill them, it's a condemnation as to as to who they are. Don't you worry about people. That that spirit is, is not for you. What you've got to do is step up because this is your life and primarily because we need you. The young men, the old heads who have been through the system, been through the process, are some of our best. Those men, the sisters who have been through all these difficulties, those are our best because those are strong women. And let me tell you, it's like when you put soldiers through through the harshest circumstance, but they come out, those are the best soldiers you're gonna find. They're called battle hardened. We need we need people who can survive under these circumstances. You're our best. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe what they say, you're our worst. You're our best. Because a lot of these people live all fancy, they can't make it. They lose their job, they fall apart. <laughs> we ain't got no job. That's all we can make it because we've been there. And I want you to make it and not be afraid.